Hello everyone, this is um, kind of my mate Frank. So we're here with the, um, with the Esprit, the really cool British car. And then the treacherous German piece of shit that Frank's brought along. Uh, and basically we're over in, I think we're in Somerset somewhere. Yeah, Somerset. Yeah, there's a road supposed to be quite good, but it's a bit trafficy, and we're going to have a good drive today and see how the cars do. Yeah, so we're going to start bombing down the road and hopefully we'll get some good shots and uh, we'll try each other's cars and stuff and then um, give our useless impressions on how they drive. Right, so now I'm in the Lotus. Right, okay. First thing I've noticed is that the pedal box, the pedals are very close together. So it was designed by an Italian and it was clearly made for Italian feet. I will automatically, the gearbox throw is a lot shorter than in the, um, but in the 911 a lot shorter. Oh, I do like that turbo noise. It's nice. Yeah, that's cool. It feels really weird driving uh, the 930. So different. It feels like I'm in a lorry. It's so much higher up. And uh, the brake pedal is so much better than on the Esprit. It, it, it's solid. Nice and you know, mine's so spongy, doesn't give much confidence. Um, yeah, I like this interior. I mean, it's properly 80s. I like the angles as well. It's, I mean, when you look at the 911 where everything is curved and here it's just completely straight lines everywhere. So the designer just didn't realize that the compass existed and everything was done with a ruler. Um, but it's a nice place to be. I mean, I feel like I'm in a fighter jet, you know, like a Star Wars, X-Wing fighter jet, because everything is open, it's angular. Yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go and fight Darth Vader now. You know, I was expecting a lot more rattles, but in reality, there aren't that many rattles. You know. It's made of fiberglass, right? With glue and probably staples and wooden pegs, I guess, or something, I don't know. But, um, actually, it feels all right. It does move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. turbo. It's very comfortable, actually. Once you're in here, I mean, you know, what's called for a tall person, it is, it's, it's a small space. Um, the car feels very wide. I don't actually know whether that's because it is wide or whether it's just because it is so low in squat. The, the steering is much, much lighter. The car's more nimble, but it does feel a bit like a truck. So I never would have thought I would have said that about a 911. The, the gearbox, again, it feels like a truck gearbox. It's so, the throws are so long, much lighter than in the Lotus. There's much more lag, but when it goes, bloody hell does this thing go. There is a lot of power under here. I think it's not a standard car. I think the turbo's been upgraded or something. But when it, you know, when it picks up, so lag, 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 go, 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 fucking hell, it's really got some go. But with the, the Esprit, it's much more linear. It, it's got a bit of power even off boost. is just so different. I mean, from the steer, the angle of the steering wheel, everything, it's uh, incredible. And the Esprit is definitely a more fluid car. This feels much more like a go-kart, much more nimble, much more unstable, much more all over the place. The Esprit is much more settled. Still corners really well though. It's just, maybe it's the fact that the mid-engine layout is less of a compromise than this. It does feel right, that car. But maybe not as fun in some ways as this. Yeah. It's interesting because it feels like it has a certain delicacy. I think it's on the, on the, on the side of the tyres and so on, but at the same time it feels very um, solid or quite agricultural. Um, there's definitely some delicacy in the handling. Yeah, delicacy in the handling and quite weighty in terms of uh, Way it feels if that means anything whatsoever to you it's good except for the fact that it's british made so it's probably gonna break uh you can probably see that i'm wearing gloves oops and i've got a scarf on as well and that's because the heating in the lotus isn't working so uh it's pretty damn cold in here
chat before about the cars, but uh, it's the end of the day. And, um, what do you think? What's your impressions about them both? Yeah, I think the, what's amazing is that they, they are two 80s turbos, but they're, they're just completely different cars. Yeah, they are. I, mean, I totally agree with you. Yeah. Completely different cars. Yeah, yeah. The engine layout, the chassis. Yeah type of engineering. Um, I think the steering is particularly sweet in that car actually. It loads up but not too much. Um, one thing I noticed about this but I really like it actually is it loads up a lot more in corners. So it does get, which surprises me because it's rear engine. But in corners it really loads up whereas that loads up to a point but then it sort of stays as is. Um, I guess it's that weight transfer thing. Yeah, it? yeah you're right probably. Yeah, it's sort of weight going over the front I guess. But um, yeah. But very different cars, so your engine is a 3.3 turbo. Yeah, it's a 3.3 turbo, but interestingly enough, the previous owner at some point in the 90s decided, you know what, it's not dangerous enough, damn it, I'm going to make it even faster. So yeah. you put in a trick set of cams, yeah. you put in a, an Angel intercooler, I think it is, a larger one of that, yeah. a K27 turbocharger, yeah. as far as I remember, and a border exhaust. Um, 2.2... Inline, yeah, I inline believe. Inline four. inline four. It looks like an yeah. inline four. Uh, it's a Lotus proprietary engine. Um, so it's a 2.2. This puts out. We're not sure, but we think must be around 300 plus. Yeah. Well, that is supposed to be putting out 215, 220, and it kind of feels feels like that. I think it feels the difference. You can definitely feel between the two. That yeah. I mean, this is pretty pedestrian by comparison it's still no it's it's, still it's, right. it's a fast car it's got and, a bit of and the, the important thing is that you get the sensation of speed i think what's i think what that car needs yeah. is a big wing on the back to yeah. fit an intercooler no you know, i've got to be design. honest okay Zajari's design is 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 a stunning design we're, we're, neither of us is really an amazing driver and i don't i don't know either of these cars well enough to try and push them to the, really to the limit but We've driven them fairly quick, and they, they're both really good in different ways. Yeah. You know, when I'm in this, I just think, you know, oh, it's more fluid and, you know, more stable and so on. But then I get in that, and although the position feels so much taller, and it does feel, it's, it just feels so different, and suddenly you think, oh, but there's quite a bit of grip, and it's quite precise. And then, you know, and then get back into this and think, oh, but it feels more natural. I think, for me, when it comes down to it, I don't know, maybe it's just like a mental thing, but because I know the engine's in the middle, but it does feel like it's a little bit more natural when it pivots around corners. Yeah, I'm sure it That's does. probably the only yeah. thing. Um, I think the thing is, is that I'm so used to like rear engine 911s. Yeah. But for me, the weight transfer is something that I find relatively comforting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas with here, because it's like mid-engine, yeah. I'm, I, I'm not so used to that. Yeah. So I don't feel like the car's moving around enough. Right. I mean, it feels like a sofa to me. Yeah. Um, and I feel really good to go down. Yeah. And I think it, definitely matches your silver head. <laughs> it definitely is that laid back, you know, old man yeah. position. But yeah, I don't but know I, why you keep yeah. saying old man position. That's a racing car position. It's a racing car yeah. position. Yeah, yours is an old man position. <laughs> you're sitting up in your armchair. But I know what you mean yeah, but about... I'm sitting up. I, I know what you're you mean. You're lying down. Yeah, no? but that's, that's the sports asleep. car position. You're falling asleep. I don't, I don't see Hamilton and that lot. They don't, they don't sit like this, man. Yeah, they, are, like, they are laid down in racing cars. But they're cars. Formula 1 drivers. Yeah, well... Whereas these are road cars. And also, yeah, if you but, look at the rally drivers, you know, they they're, sit they're very, more, very upright. Yeah, but those and are rally more, cars are on the road. Yeah, but they're more road cars. That's what I'm saying. This so has got more of a racing... This is more of a rally car. This has got more race heritage, and that's more of a Volkswagen Beetle. Right, okay, okay. I, I think, I I think what, if, I'm, though, if I'm very honest about it, I think that what you've done is a mistake. What? what you should have bought for a lot less money yeah. is a Toyota MR2 Turbo. A what? A Toyota MR2 Turbo. It would have been Japanese, you would have got all the reliability yeah. in the world, it wouldn't have been falling apart, and you wouldn't have you know, door handles from a Morris Marina. You know, you know that's very funny, yeah. but I'm editing this video, so I'm going to cut all your little funny <laughs> puns out of <laughs> no, it, you're not. and I'm going to leave all my insults sitting on the The Germans are thinking of everything. They think to themselves, you know what? Not only has it got to look sexy with round, opulent shapes of like a woman's body, yeah. but it's also got to be comfortable sitting. Oh, I see. And Did that they... is the difference between German and English engineering. You're right. You're right. Is that why they included a beer trimmer with that? Cut? <laughs> <laughs> so what, thanks for having brought that out and oh, for letting sure, me drive it. And thanks everyone for watching. Much appreciated it, and hope you enjoyed the the video. Cheers.